book number one. This beginning chapter book series is called The Wish Library. Book number one, Snow Day in May, written by Christine Evans. Raven Rose dreads doing her school project without her best friend, who moved away. After wishing that something magical could happen to cancel the presentation, she stumbles upon a coin, makes a wish, and tosses it into an old well. Raven is then transported to the Wish Library. Greeted by a cloaked librarian, Raven tours a library where wishes are granted, such as receiving superpowers, getting your favorite puppy, or maybe a new baby sister. Raven makes her wish, despite the librarian's warnings, and the next morning she finds a surprise snowstorm has resulted in school being canceled. What begins as a thrilling wish come true soon becomes a nightmare as more snow continues to fall and jeopardizes the lives of people and animals in her California town. This beginning chapter book with less than 100 pages will take readers on a young girl's adventure to make things right. Be careful what you wish for. Don't miss a trip to the Wish Library. Books 2 and 3 are available for checkout too. Book number two, How to Train Your Dad by Gary Paulson. After nearly 13 years, Carl is fed up with his father's single-minded pursuit of a quirky, off-the-grid existence. His dad may be brilliant, but dumpster diving for food, scouring through trash for salvageable junk, and wearing clothes fully sourced from garage sales are getting old, increasingly worried about what others think of his circumstance. Carl adopts the principles set forth in a randomly discovered puppy training pamphlet to change his dad's mindset. Can an old dog learn new tricks? Book number three. Raleigh Jefferson, the best friend and neighbor from Diary of a Wimpy Kid, introduces his awesome, friendly, spooky stories, written by Jeff Kinney. Grab a flashlight, crawl under the covers, and dive into the twisted, unexpected, hilarious world of Raleigh Jefferson's imagination. You'll meet zombies, vampires, ghosts, and much more in these comical, terrifying tales. Get ready to scare yourself silly. <laughs> Book number four. Sherlock Holmes, The Blue Carbuncle by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. This illustrated adaption of the classic Sherlock Holmes adventure is now a beginning chapter book for young readers. While the police work to trace a missing diamond, Sherlock Holmes attempts to reunite a Christmas dinner with its owner. When the detective comes across the jewel, Holmes and Watson find themselves in a race against time to save an innocent man. Check out more books in this early chapter book mystery series. Book number five. Harry versus the first 100 days of school. Written by Emily Jenkins. Pictures by Pete Oswald. What will Harry do when he braves first grade? Day one, find a friend. Day 15, make an enemy. Day 40, learn how to be a shark. Day 48, distract a bully. Day 56, avoid Goblin, the scary guinea pig. Day 99, finish the world's most awesome 100th day of school project ever before morning. Enjoy this realistic, comical, heartwarming journey of Harry's first 100 days of school. Book number six. World Champions, another Max Einstein adventure by James Patterson and Chris Grabenstein. World Champions, get outdoors, take action, and never give up. Racing across glaciers in Greenland, Flying in a super fancy solar powered jet to Hawaii, to visiting the Great Barrier Reef off the coast of Australia, and hanging out with a robot named Leo. 
12-year-old genius Max and her friends live for adventure. Whenever there's a problem to solve, the kids work better together. But so does evil when the rich and powerful try to split the kids up. Max has one more surprise in her playbook, and if she's going to pull it off, she needs her team around her. Whoever said that kids can't save the world? Book number seven. This is a beginning chapter book series called Wind Riders. Book number one, Rescue on Turtle Beach, written by Jen Marlin. Everything was normal in Story Bay until the seagulls showed up. When Max and Sophia follow a seagull in need of their help deep into the mangrove forest, they discover an abandoned old sailboat. They step on the deck and before they know it, they're magically whisked away to Hawaii where they find a nest of baby sea turtles ready to hatch. But light pollution from nearby hotels will lead the hatchlings in the wrong direction. Can Max and Sophia get the baby sea turtles safely to the ocean? Check out book number two at the library. You never know where Wind Rider will take you. Book number eight. The Encyclopedia of Strangely Named Animals Written by Frederick Colting and Melissa Medina Illustrated by Vlad Stankovic In the wonderful animal kingdom, there are certainly creatures with names so odd you might think they're straight out of a Dr. Seuss story. In this book, we get to see them in their home environment, learn about where they live and what they eat and what they sound like, but we also get to know their strange names and where they come from. With stunning watercolor illustrations, this book vividly brings them all to life. Even the peacock spider from Australia called Sparkle Muffin. Book number nine. Playing the Cards You're Dealt by Varian Johnson. Anthony Joplin, also known as Ant, is finally old enough to play in the spades tournament. His father and every man in the Joplin family seems to have won it before him. So while Ant's friends are stressing about fifth grade homework and girls, Ant only has one thing on his mind, how he'll measure up to his father's expectations at the card table. Needing a new partner for the game, he meets Shirley, a new girl in his class. She is tough, smart, and pretty, and knows every card trick in the book. The trouble is, he's not sure his father will let him play the game with a girl. Ant decides to join forces with Shirley anyway and keep his plans a secret. Only it turns out, secrets are another Joplin man tradition. His father's hiding one, and it's big and could tear their whole family apart. There's no such thing as being too young when it comes to questioning big ideas like manhood or even family. Book number 10. Time Villains by Victor Pinheiro. If you could invite any three people to dinner, who would it be? It seems like a simple homework assignment, right? Jave Santiago is trying desperately not to fail sixth grade, so when the annual invite any three people to dinner homework assignment rolls around, Jave enlists his friends to help him knock it out of the park. But the dinner party is a lot more than they bargained for. The family's mysterious antique table actually brings the historical guests to the meal. And while Kid Mozart and the Earl of Sandwich aren't too bad, Blackbeard the Pirate is the worst dinner guest of all time. They just might have to invite other legendary figures to set things right again. This story is wacky, hilarious, and fast-paced, with a perfect combination of magic, imagination, and adventure. I give these books a 10 out of 10. This is Miss Annette. I sure hope you enjoyed this book talk. Until next time, keep on reading.